Hey, what's going on guys? So it's another day. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you all today was how to test your E85. So you can test it simply just by picking up one of these little kits. All you got to do is just fill it up with some regular water and then the rest of the E85, shake it up and then it'll actually kind of give you a ballpark of where your percentage is. It's not perfect, but it helps a ton to maybe help you avoid a certain pump if you don't if you're not sure if it at least gets you at least to about the e80 range 85 then you know at least it tests out decent enough for you to run but if it's testing like e60 then you know you got to go somewhere else so it helps prevent having a big issue uh you could buy these on amazon for i think this one cost me i think like 10 bucks so they're not very expensive at all and they're pretty easy to use so the only thing I do hate is that uh, try to have some kind of cup or extra container it helps a lot to pour into this because I wish they would have a better cap size for the nozzle itself I know there's some that have a bigger cap which you can actually fit the nozzle in and kind of pump it uh, but these with the smaller caps they really do make it difficult to not make a mess at the pump but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do so I do recommend carrying a bottle of water and just a regular cup you could usually just toss whatever is like left over of the E85 uh, or just pour the rest in here and just cap it and then whenever you get to somewhere that you can dispose of it you know dispose of it so I'll show you guys I gotta pull off my uh, fuel line because I did get the new fuel fitting so I want to show you guys the new fitting it's the Russell 644123 and it's a dash 6 AN male so I'm hoping that this one will allow me to go straight from the fuel rail to the regulator so that way the regular can mount straight to the fuel rail, have no issues, and it'll look a lot cleaner than having that big old line in there. So I'm going to go ahead, put this on, and catch some E85. I got some distilled water to use, and show you all how to do all that. So. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my Okay, so just saw me reinstall my fuel regulator. Uh, kind of keeps me from having to like really mount it anywhere because I did not want to mount it to the firewall. Uh, I believe that's against uh, some of the rules for like, drag racing and stuff like that. So can't have it on the wall, on the firewall. Uh, I'll have to check that again. So I just put it on the, on the fuel rail because I just like the look. It actually does look pretty clean even though that the lines go across I don't mind that uh, to me it's not that big of a deal as maybe to someone else it might be but the lines are perfect length for it so I think I'm just gonna leave it just like how it is uh, also if you have noticed I did get a power by the hour uh, cap for these and the other fittings came in for those hoses I still gotta actually get a real cap for this so this is just on there temporary but now uh, pretty much everything is done. <laughs> so the whole car now actually has no vacuum leaks. So the next thing we're actually going to be doing on the next video is probably loading a tune on this car. So I'll show you guys how to do that. So, but back to the E85 testing kit. So there you got a line for water. I already filled it up with distilled water. And I got a cup full of E85. Let me see if I can do this without making a mess. has a line where you fill it up to I am dripping a little bit but that's fine cool sounds 
put the cap on. And you just shake it. Just give it a good shake, make sure it's all mixed up. You will see it gets very foggy. So now what's next? So now you gotta let it sit for five minutes. But here's a little trick that I learned from somebody on Facebook. Um, he said, just crack the cap and it'll actually help release a lot of the air. So just crack the cap. You don't have to open it all the way, but just, you know, just loosen it. And you'll start seeing all the air bubbles start to come up. And then you're actually starting to see right there how it is starting to separate and giving you your ethanol percentage. So, uh, usually my pump that's next to my house is very reliable uh, to the point where I only test it like every couple weeks. Anytime that I think that they got new fuel or that the fuel is getting a little old, I'll test it. But so far, every single time I test it, it always tests at like an E85, sometimes even closer to E90. Uh, so I do my best to like try and get it as perfect as possible so I know I'm getting a decent, accurate reading. But after I send a couple logs to my tuner, he usually confirms that I get good E85. So here, we see, even though it's been sitting for, I think like two, three months, it's still testing pretty good. It's still testing in the, at least in the mid to high to 80s. So, we can let it sit for a couple minutes so we can get even more accurate of a reading uh, this is a quick and dirty way to do it, just so you can speed up the process, because I know you can't just be sitting at the gas pump forever. But if it was really bad, it would have dropped all, all the way already to like E70 or below E80. If it starts hitting below E80, then you just don't want to pump there. If you're on an E85 dedicated tune. If you're on a flex wheel tune, then it'll be fine. Later on, you could find some better E85 and get you know closer to the E85 percentage. But so far, it looks like it is staying pretty steady to 85%. So, shows that we still got good E85 in the car, which is actually amazing. Because I thought E85 likes to draw in a lot of moisture, so show, it just goes to show since we have been having pretty dry days here, it's been hot. So, I guess it has not been pulling in very much moisture into the tank and our E85 is still good so it'll be good to get a base tune uh, I already sent a log over to my tuner that way he can start calibrating it and hopefully here soon we'll actually be hearing a proper fire up of the car with full exhaust and everything else so I hope you guys learned something about how to test your E85 and how to maybe run your fuel system got some ideas so this is the exact same way we did on the red car. Um, I, I like it. I think it's a lot better. It doesn't look like it's going to be vibrating or hitting anything. Just make sure it's not tapping on anything because you could get some false knock on there. But I think it, come, it came out pretty, good, pretty nice. So I'll catch you all later. See you on the next one. And yeah, so go into your garage and fucking build something.